<coughs> you take something you mean again. saying he's going to call the cops on me and everything else and he started again this morning telling me I need to come to his way of thinking telling me I got him trapped in bed yeah he's trapped in there to a certain extent I mean he could get around it he'd probably get hurt if he did but he'd get hurt if he fell out of the bed trying to get up. I don't, know. I don't see how, why he does that. He's always thinking that all the time. Well, he does all the time. Because he wants to believe that everybody else is wrong and he's right. That's how he treats people, Sierra. And that's just Robert. That is not anything to do with a brain injury. That part of it is Robert. That's the way he was before he had his injury. The other stuff is Robert. I mean, it's not Robert. It's Robert, but it's not. Because yeah. he's mad. He's mad. Let him be mad. There's nothing... Nothing I can do other than what I already, I've already done. He wants to keep treating me like I'm dirt. There's nothing I can do. Go talk to Mo to somebody else. All of you. Yeah, don't mess with them. Leave them alone. I didn't mess with them. Oh, yeah. He said, I'm done with all of you. Yeah, I heard it. Yet she reached on my bed and took my slipper off the bed. Yeah, yeah I put... Your slipper was already off the bed. I was just in there, I saw it. She just took the one off the bed that was in front of my foot. And set it on the floor. I'm done with this game of tic-tac-toe. Robert, you can uh, argue with yourself this morning. No, I'm not. I'm done talking to every one of you, especially you. All you're doing is taking what I'm saying and using it against me. I'm not using nothing against you, Robert. How am I using it against you? I'm not using anything against you. To you, it's simple. You take every single word that I say and you use that as a crutch to point at and make me do the walk, the limping walk. I'm done with this game. I'm done with your game. What should I tell you? Just so you can take it and use it against me. No, thank you. You said I'm not using anything against you, Robert. You use every single thing I say against me. How am I using it against you? Explain to me how I'm using what you say against you. 
there ain't no way I'm giving you that answer. Okay. You're the one who yells at everybody. You're the one who cusses everybody. And then when I defend myself, and I tell you to shut up because I'm tired of hearing it, I'm wrong. When I explain what you insist on hearing, you use that against me and point it at to say I'm wrong. Months ago, I didn't believe that you would turn and take advantage. Months ago, I didn't believe that. I was told that was never going to happen by you. I haven't taken advantage of you, Robert. All I've done is help. You don't see it. If I put a person in a corner and they have only one way to walk their way away from that corner, then I'm the one taking the advantage. Robert, that's the problem. You can't walk yet. So I have to do the bed like that. If you could walk, I wouldn't have to do the bed like that. And when I ask to be able to get up, I get told I'm not able to walk. And use that as a catch-22 to keep me in the bed. Congratulations. Robert, I get you up every single day. And you have physical therapy every single day. You're not supposed to do it by yourself, no. You're not supposed to do it by yourself. You never give the time lapse needed to be able to I'm build I'm sorry, that. I'm not going to let you do it by yourself until I'm told... It's okay for you to do it by yourself. And that has never happened until I get enough strength <laughs> back to be able to do it exactly. by myself. Exactly. You have to have the strength. You don't have the strength. And you're not letting it build up. No, you're the one who's not exercising. I fought with you all day long yesterday to exercise and wouldn't do it. I exercised y'all all day yesterday. No, you didn't. You did the ball thing in between your legs and that was it. Other than that, you sat with your head in your shirt. You sat with your head in your shirt. As usual, using what I'm saying and doing against me. No, I'm not. Using your head and you putting your head in your shirt and sitting there slumped over right exercising, Robert. You're the one keeping the room foul with not enough oxygen to breathe. Because you want it hot in there because you're freezing. Don't blame that on me. You want it hot because you're freezing. That's why I sit outside. Because I can't breathe in that house. But you're always complaining you're cold. I can't do I can't make it both ways, Robert. Can't make it both ways. Well, I can't be in two places at one place one time either. And you're insisting I am going to be given that ability. And that's a lie. All right. What are you talking about? Being in two places at one time. The only place you can be is I'm not telling you the answer. It doesn't matter. You can't be in two places at one time. I never told you you could. And I don't need the answer because I know the answer.
This is the way things have to be. Whether you like it or not. Until I obey you, huh? <laughs> well, in a sense, yes, you have to obey me. Because I'm the one responsible for you. So, if that's the way you want to look at it, yeah. You look at it that way. If you, you set it up as a catch-22, you're the only one that wins. I ain't trying to win nothing. All I'm trying to do is help you. There's no proof of you trying to help me. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with somebody else here. I'm done arguing too. The heck with it. And all you're doing is trying to get me mad and it's not gonna work. And that's what you do, that's what you are doing to me and you already know it. Well, if Sierra doesn't watch what she's gonna, what she's doing right now, she's gonna break something. That was me. Done nothing. Get off of that little girl. I walk. That, that was Puffy making that noise. What's your problem today? Oh, he started this last night. No, he ain't gonna call the cops. He never came out. Okay. Oh, he's not his right wing man right here. Oh, no, that's what you do. That's what I told you. You gonna borrow my phone? You gonna borrow my Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, this game of tic-tac-toe is a waste of time. What are you talking about? Just let him rattle, Sierra. You just let him rattle. We should just uh, ignore it and not play into it because it's, it's worse. Okay, but he said he this game, something about tic-tac-toe. Yeah, I know what it means. You're too young to know what it means. Basically, it means he said he thinks I'm manipulating him. And everybody else is manipulating him. That's basically what it means. Saying that I'm dancing around stuff. No, I'm not the one dancing. Are you playing games over there, little buddy? Huh? Nope. What are you doing? 
Huh? Trying to be able to talk well, and move one. without being manipulated to do the opposite of what I am saying well, I'm doing. <laughs> Bob, you understand that two things. Let me explain something to you. You're not in your right mind right now. You think you are, but you're not, buddy. And we're only trying to do things that we know not to harm, get you harmed in harm's way. You understand? Does that make sense? What? What about it? I'm just telling you. You know I get you up every single morning, Robert, after I have my cup of coffee. Every morning I get, I get up. I get you up. I'm making your tea. I'm making your breakfast. Every morning. Give her a chance, okay? Give her a chance to wake up. You know how she is. She's not a morning person, Robert. And I'm up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning every night. Trying to get work done. Because that's the only time I can work. Because I have to work. Because I have to work. Because I have to work. Because I work. Because I have to 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 work. She's supposed to bring the rest of them back, but she's got she got sidetracked. Helping up with Richard this morning. Hey, you give me some Are you going to allow me that this morning? Enjoy. I'm sorry you can't read your Bible. And I do try to play things for you to listen to. But then you get off the wall with that stuff too. <laughs> 